telling you, they didn't run off. All you had to do was watch it. Down too far. Once I got the scripts, I was like, damn. I mean, I, I kind of knew when I read these two big scenes that this guy was a special character and and that the writing was going to be really good. And um, I was a big fan of the first season. and I kind of was really impressed with Nick uh, and some of his novels, too. And, um, but, yeah, I think Roland was maybe the, you know, the best part I've ever gotten because it's a, he's just so layered and has so many, well, not only does he kind of, age and we go through three decades with him but he um he's just got a lot of colors you know he's got a great sense of humor he's he's got a heart you know he doesn't like to see people in pain i think as a person you want things to be tied up right you want to kind of close the book you want to finish the book end it start anew you know whereas sometimes it's not that easy and they don't they don't clean up so easy you know um even at the end you know and i think nick played with was really interested in creating a show about time and about life and so much of even the first season wasn't so much about the crime as it, you know you knew these murders were happening to these women and they were leaving you right and you knew there was all this terrible stuff happening but it was so much about the relationships and the time and the you know that's what where he finds his kind of poetry through the crime but through the characters I don't know quite know how he does it but he's a damn good writer you know I've never done a cable show I've never done a you know eight hour journey into a character I usually have an hour and a half two hours to play my part and then it's done this was a uh, a lot more exciting and rewarding because you you just keep going with him you know now I know kind of maybe why audiences why it's become so trendy these shows and also why actors love doing it it gives you more time with a character which is pretty great Nick just nailed this one. I mean, he just, he'd been working hard for, I guess for like three years on this one and worked with David Milch on a few of the episodes and, and really just brought back his Fayetteville, Arkansas time from when he went to school there. And, and it was like a little family. Every day, every scene was just so, so fun and hard to play at the same time because there's so much going on. Like, I can't remember a, a part that I've played where every scene had, you know, a subtle, special moment or, or a line or, you know, just the, the where the dialogue was so rich, you know, too. I just, I don't know, I feel like Nick just nailed it. And it was a real joy to uh, to play with Mahershala, to, to create this partnership, which I don't think you've seen a partnership like, like this on, you know, in a long time or maybe ever because there's not enough time to explore one. You know, maybe the first season... True Detective, even though it was a different kind of partnership, right? It was, it was more of a partnership on that crime. Uh, whereas this is about, you know, really more about two guys that are very different, that, but that love each other, you know, that care about each other, even, even at the worst of times.